Despite fierce protest earlier this year, the government forcibly demolished four homes in Miali's Dampu village to pave the way for new developments. And today, the controversial case was thrust back into the spotlight following the suspicious death of one of the affected. John Sun Wen's widow, Peng Shouchuan, was distraught upon seeing her husband's body. This morning at about 2 o'clock, John left his home alone. His family soon began a search and notified police. John was later found in a gutter just a couple hundred meters from his home. He was laying face down. I don't know if he climbed down into there or what. John's son, John Yuanhao, says his father had become depressed over the long Dapu fight. He worried about his dad, and when speaking today, put the blame on Miali County Commissioner Liu Zhenghong. He often had trouble sleeping after the house was knocked down. Medicine didn't help. Of course, he's a victim of Liu Zhenghong. Zhang is the second victim closely linked to the Dapu demolition dispute. On August 3, 2010, an elderly farmer named Zhu Fengming, angry over her land being expropriated by the county government, committed suicide by ingesting pesticides. We have also been worried and scared recently and don't know what our next step should be. Liu Chenghong is really quite terrible. When the latest victim was alive, he grew a name during protests in Taipei. His death has sparked new discussion into the Dapu case.